Ah, oh, Sheik. Okay. okay. The one thing that, you know, Mi King says, I've asked him, like, why. And I think he likes the stage striking to get Battlefield, um, battle, battlefield Sheik, uh -huh. as opposed to whatever he can find with Marth. Oh, great ambiguous uh, just behind him DI by Muji King to avoid any follow up on the up throw. Ooh. Oh. So even on the uh, great SCI and the double jabs by Kobol, Muji King able to get a follow up. Knows interactions. The counter to your counter. Yeah. Oh, and he's a little late. Well, Kobol missing some crucial shield drops, and that turns into a stock for Muji King. Oh, wow, the forward smash from, from Legend. Oh, I love the shine. It's all up air. Oh, spot touch no. down smash. <laughs> Letting it rip. Yeah, I mean, that's... Kobo loves to raw grab very much. I mean, we saw that get punished a lot by Shroom, right? Yeah. Oh, and great just getting off the ledge and getting the up throw up air. Uh, even with Mitsuki full DIing away. But Mitsuki did enough work to make it so that Kobo can't crotch cancel like that dash attack there. Oh, low. And just a little bit too low. And I think Mewtwo King recognized that. Wow, and Mewtwo King just knowing when the invulnerability oh. expires. Oh, but he didn't go it. for a bear. Yeah, he just kind of let him get back on stage. Oh, great crouch cancel by Kobol. He's done a good job of punishing Mewtwo King uh, recovery. You know, he's let him back on, but that's what you sort of have to do. But he's gotten good hits oh. on wherever he goes. and. That's classic Mewtwo King. <laughs> he knows better not to jump there uh, to get Needle right away. And the charge up smash. Great DI by Mewtwo King. Not going to do it. Good air dodge there. Prevents the kill. Can he get it? I like that mix up by Kobol getting with the back throw. And so he was uh, full DIing away trying to get behind him on an up throw. But instead it went really deep and had no option but to recover on stage. And uh, Kobol with a great up air to punish. I love these uh, crouch cancels from Cold Wool right now. They're getting him a lot of opportunities. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, these shine grabs are working out really well for him, too. And look at that, how quickly he snaps the ledge and just forces Mewtwo King to, to get on stage. Ooh, well, can, okay, I thought he was going to get a lot more. That'll work because it'll just reset, and now he has to go on stage, and it should just be another upper, but he is a little low. But the shine, oh, and he had it. But he accidentally got up. And the what? Phantom Shine. All right, that's it. All right, finally gets <laughs> it. All right, but Kobo bringing this back. And he's got he's to find an opening here. Oh, missed read uh, by Music King. Goes for another Shine grab, which would have worked if he was the right direction. Oh, and these reactions by Kobo, and once again, just slipping into ledge. Oh, and he's, I love the way that Kobo, like, animates himself when he's playing. He, like, rips the controller up as if he's trying to get an up smash. Oh, and he went for something. <laughs> Still living. Oh, and he immediately gets off that platform. But he oh, gets Oh, no, and that's it. Oh, super close game one, though. Kobo putting up a hell of a fight. Yeah, he had to work his way back, and, you know, that looked winnable for him. So now we see because um, you know if he goes Dreamland, Mewtwo is gonna pick Sheik. If he goes Yoshi's are found, more likely Marth. Or if FD. He goes, if he goes Stadium, he goes Marth. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what Cobble decides to do because whatever stage he picks, it's gonna determine the matchup. Yeah, my my guess is that we'll see. I want to see a Battlefield repick. I mean, he. I mean, I think the game close. plan like he'll keep the Sheik out, um, get himself a win. But it looks like he's going to go Marth. Yep. It looks like it's going to be Stadium. Yep. And now he Cobble has to adjust, you know, to another game. And oh, I love that. See, that's what um, what Marth we seen earlier. That's what PBU should have been doing. So yeah. That Waveland on grab is so good. And also that fading up air is really good too. It covers a lot of the platform if you're moving. Yeah. Doing great dash the weak dash attack knockdown. He's still going. I feel like Cobble has not had free space at all until now. Whoa. And then he gets out of his free space again. <laughs> yep. And just Mitsuki knowing exactly when to let the shield breaker go. Uh, on the sort of tricky angle by Cobble. Just so much control and so much game knowledge right now on this way. Alright. Yep. 
Waiting up to get up attack. Good shield. Oh, he's real deep. He's going to live, though. Yep. Oh. And that nice single hit of the up air. Unable to smash the eye. And Kobol just still going stock for stock with Muta King. Which is impressive on its own right. Yeah. Ooh, big opportunity. Great DI mix up by Mewtwo King. And ooh, he's trying to do some sneaky, sneaky angle. But there is a, uh, a 12 to 15% dead zone on your controller where it will not read from Cardinal Directions. Interesting fact. I always can rely on you for that kind of information. <laughs> Those little things. Little, little, little things. things. The little things that you Mark nerd commentators know about <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all right. Been a lot of knockdown opportunity for Mewtwo King. Nice SDI two on that drill to avoid a follow up. Ooh, oh, came down I, with a late fair. Yeah, because I like what Cobalt was doing too, just waiting to see if Mewtwo King was going to do anything. Uh, and it looked like he was just kind of chilling, and then he ended up getting punished pretty hard with that late fair. Ooh, and Mewtwo King covering everything. Yep. So we got the hand cam on Mewtwo King. <laughs> yeah, I'm just moving and grooving. All right, avoids the grab. It's going to be kind of hard for oh. Kobol to get this last kill confirmed. Mewtwo King's so good at preserving his stock, but... Okay, I thought he was going to lose his stock there. Yep. Oh, got oh, him! Oh, my God. Got him! What? <laughs> what was that? Cheese. What was that? All right, well, uh, not how he planned it, but definitely we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> so now it's a 2-0, um, and, you know, if Cobalt wins, we're going to get FD. Yeah, it's tough. At this point, you kind of wonder. I mean, I, I really loved how he played against Sheik, and I, I hope that he would have picked the stage to continue the Sheik matchup. Now he has decisions to make. Does he go to Battlefield or Dreamland and fight Fox Sheik, or go to another stage where he's going to have to pay the Marth. All right, so going to Yoshi's. He's going to stick with Marth. Oh, nice. Just right off the bat, Mewtwo King looking for a narrow opening, but Kobol will have none of it. Just goes back perfectly and gets a grab. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a... We got the jump on Randall. Oh, and barely gets around that down smash. The raw grab's working for Kobol right now. <laughs> <laughs> And the raw forward smash getting the job done too. All right. Oh, where are you going there, Mewtwo King? He's like, no, I, I was <laughs> tricking you. I just wanted my invulnerability. Ooh. Ooh these crouch cancels still working out for Cobalt at 76%. Dare? Ooh. Oh, no, I like that decision. He has no jump. And yeah, we can cover Randall. That back air is so big. I wonder if Mewtwo King knew the cloud was there, and maybe that's why he refrained. I mean, if that if he knew that, that's some next level stuff. Yeah, that <laughs> that is why he's been uh, top player for so long. You know, stuff like that. Oh, great side B. You know, Cobalt thought he was going to immediately up B, but he did not. He just he's missed tech, re missed tech reactions. Oh, oh you're dead. No. Oh, just kidding. The fa he tried to go for a, a reverse fair, maybe. Possibly. Oh. And good spacing and uh, cleaning up the stock. There were a few opportunities there for, for both players, but Mewtwo King able to get a job done. And Cobalt's getting a little antsy by trying to fish for a grab, and Mewtwo King's ready for it every time. Uh oh. oh no. Oh. We have not. Oh, oh. great recovery by Cobalt. It's so difficult sometimes to see exactly where Fox is on Yoshi's because they're in the magnifying glass rather than actually physically visible. Oh, oh and what a counter! Wow, what a read by Mewtwo King. The counter getting Cobol coming back, and oh, this should do it. No. There it is. And that's it. 3-0 for Mewtwo King in a dominant game three. Wow. Good stuff to him. Cobol started off strong against the Sheik. But Mewtwo King's Marth was just too good, too consistent, and too knowledgeable. Yeah. All right, so Mewtwo King moving in the top eight. He'll play the winner of Mafia and West Balls. But that was, yeah, I, I think once the Marth came out, it just it turned into a completely different ball game. I, it's, it's very interesting because 
Yeah, I just really, ho I really hope that Cobalt, you know, decided like, hey, I did well against the Sheik and went Battlefield, and I just thought that. I mean, regardless, I think the set was kind of over at 2-0, but like yeah. I was hoping that we'd see him force the Sheik matchup rather than the Morth. Yeah. All right. So great stuff to Cobalt still getting ninth place here at Super Smash Con 2016. So we're just a couple matches away from rounding out our top eight. Um, I don't know if we're going to be seeing, I believe Wizrobe and Axe is, is happening, but here we go, some replays. Uh, that sort of side of the hitbox up air. One of the few uh, bright moments of Cobol the set. Yeah. Ooh, Mewtwo King combos. And you just, even with the jump, just waiting out? Yeah, just so ready to cover everywhere that Cobol could go. Yeah, so what he could have done in that situation, Cobol could have shortened. We saw Mewtwo King do a couple wave dashes back, uh, correctly reading that he was going to go straight in. Um, but yeah, that was nice. He's got him with the uh, the sort of last minute shield breaker. And look at that invisible ceiling two on the counter. He got a visible ceiling, and because of that, it put him underneath the stage. Uh, uh, and okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was yeah. wondering how Cobal went on that trajectory. Yeah, an invisible ceiling now yeah. um, confirms what I thought was jank. Yeah, and that was just a super hard read too, getting that. That big dare. And that's what you love to see is, I mean, that that's the fastest way for Mart to clean up a stock, right? Is the spike. Yeah. So that was smart stuff by me taking, uh, instead of like down tilting and potentially giving Cobol another opportunity to recover, um, just cleaning up the stock quickly and efficiently with down air. Yeah. And so let's see. It looks like Wizard of Act.